Hi angels, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a deep clean my room with me. My room has been a disaster literally since I came back from Costa Rica because I just I haven't had the time to, I guess, really organize it or clean it. So here is the before and then here is the after of what it ended up turning like. So make sure you guys subscribe and hit the bell so you never miss another one of my videos. And let's just get straight on into literally me deep cleaning my room because it's a disaster it's never been this bad so first off i don't know why but i literally never put my shoes away so gotta start off i'm starting off day one by just putting everything where it actually belongs or throwing things out if i don't need them um so my dresser actually is the place where i just like throw the most things in my dresser and my desk are the things where i just like throw random stuff as far as this bookcase where i have all my skincare and like beauty products um i call it my mini ma vanity even though it, it's not a desk i just like don't put things back where they belong so that's the common theme with this one so i'm just cleaning up everything to make sure that it's organized ish and just putting things back where they go the goal with this deep clean is eventually i want to redo my room and i have a lot of stuff that i needed to just like get rid of because if i want to like get a new desk or a new bed or all this stuff like i have to get rid of a bunch of stuff that i um don't really use so that's the goal i guess i'm trying to become a minimalist of just keeping things that i know i'm going to use the only thing in this video that i did not clean or organize with you guys was my bookshelf because I want to do a whole separate video, so make sure you stay tuned for next Sunday's video, because that's what I'm going to be doing. But I also n have the tendency to like not fix my bed, so I need to get on that too. Um, even at the end of this video, I didn't fix my bed. I think during the summer, when I'm not in school, I tend to not fix my bed. Okay, here's me actually going through everything in my desk. It's pretty bad. I just shoved just like random things i just shove them into my desk and i do that with practically every part of my room so my desk has just been like hoardersville i guess um i like to keep a lot of things for like sentimental reasons and i'll put them in my desk even though i have like a box of things that i keep for sentimental reasons so i just really needed to get rid of all this stuff because i don't need all of it at the end it actually looks so much better also i cleaned my little cabinets with some clorox wipes just because they were like full of like random pieces of lead or like just dirt honestly and it just looked dirty so i just recleaned it and now i'm reorganizing it so i ended up just keeping things that i need like paper and next cards um i have a mini printer that i never use so i need to start using that if you've been watching my videos though you would know that i am trying to like start journaling so i can start using this mini printer in my journal entries i just like haven't i also haven't updated my journal in a little bit so i need to do that as well but overall this first part of my desk i just reorganized it got rid of things that i just don't need i had a lot of like trash in there too so i'm glad that i finally cleaned it up you know So this next one is kind of like my pen and electronic drawer, I guess you could say. Um, it just like has all of my hard drives, extra little mics if I need them. And then it has like random supplies like whiteout and glue and scissors and erasers and pens. So it's just a mix of things. But I have so many things in here that I just do not use, especially pens and pencils that I just don't use and I should probably donate because I have so much stationery that it's like how does one woman have to use how am I going to use all this I'm not that's the that's the question that's what I'm saying if you're wondering what I'm watching in this video I'm watching lock and key it's like this um show on Netflix 
where the kids find these magical keys like their dad died and they find these magical keys and then people are trying to steal these magical keys from them it's actually really good it's kind of like murder mystery thriller but also has magic into it it's actually really good and i finished it the last season was kind of eh but the first two were really good there's three seasons so just so you if you were wondering that's what i'm watching while i do this whole process but i eventually ended up just getting rid of a lot of stationery that i wasn't using or things that were just trash to be honest i had a lot of trash in this one uh so i'm just reorganizing like i said electronics i have a lot of like fake airpods because i don't like taking my real ones out of the house because i feel like i'm gonna lose them so i have like three fakes and then one real one so <laughs> fun facts and then this bottom part actually isn't too disorganized i have like nothing in here to be honest like it looks full but the back is kind of empty um so i just reorganized it to make it look more efficient and better overall i got rid of like two things that i never use and then all these papers are again i kept them for sentimental reasons so i just put them in the little box that i was hoarding all my sentimental reason things um but yeah that this one's not too too bad i just got rid of everything that i didn't use or um things that i kept for sentimental reasons and then just organized it to make it more efficient for me to like grab things out of because i also have some nail stuff in here um and like decorations for christmas that i put around my room so oh and fall because i have pumpkins but i just kind of reorganize them to fit correctly Once I finished that, I just ended up doing taking a little disinfectant wipe again, just cleaning off everything because it's dusty, it's dirty. I also haven't been using this clear thing in a while, um, clear calendar, that's the, the word for it, since like May. So I think it's just because it's summer, but once I start back to school season again, I will definitely start using that. Also, let me know what videos you want to see for my back to school series this year, if you're still listening to this video, I mean. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm just disinfecting everything. I, because there's just, it's just dusty and I feel like disinfectant wipes worse better than like if you took like a little duster. So, but I do want to eventually get rid of my desk and get a new one or just like a different one. The only thing I don't know is where I'm going to put all these lights because these lights are nice. So it's like, mm, I kind of need them still because they give good lighting, but yeah. So... Yes, the plan is to eventually get rid of all of this stuff, but it looks clean now. Um, my I have all my nail polishes there. It actually annoys me that they're there. I want to move them somewhere else, but I just don't have the space anywhere else. Maybe I'll get like one of those rotating bookshelves and put it there. But look how everything turned out. So cute, so clean, and it you can actually see where the drawer and ends and begins. So I'm really happy that I finally cleaned it all out and was able to just put it all together and make it look nice because it looks a lot better than what it used to like i was saying earlier i want to like minimize the amount of things that i have so i'm getting rid of stationery that i straight up just don't use so these um little like highlighters these ones that were like aesthetic they're actually terrible and i never use them because they first off bleed into my paper and two they smear everything and anything so i try to get rid of things that just i don't know didn't i didn't use my stationary car overall has been pretty organized it's just like i've had a lot of things that i'm not actually using so it was nice to just reorganize them a little bit i also do buy new stationery every once in a while so i need to get rid of things that i wasn't using in the past so here's what how it turned out it honestly looks so much more organized so much neater i also have like a thing with keeping notepads that i don't use so i donated a bunch of those as well 
and here's how it turned out i think it looks a lot better a lot more organized um and i will actually use the stationery next up on the agenda is my skincare slash beauty um this one's not really like getting rid of stuff it's more of just organizing it i got rid of a few things that i've just never touched and they just there because people gave it to me or i got it for free for some reason so um yeah i just got rid of like took off everything wiped it down and then did the same thing with every single one um again i'm i'm trying to minimize like become a minimalist but like not really because i feel like you can't consider me a minimalist with all the things that i have in my my room but i'm trying to like minimize all the things that i have and only stick with things that i actually use so skincare and makeup are things that you know i have a lot of but i use them all and if i didn't use them i definitely got rid of them in this video um my makeup is the one that looks more disastrous like look at this um so i eventually just got rid of took out things that were like empty but i kept them there because i thought they had more product or things i wasn't using or things that were most definitely expired but i just kept them there because i thought i would use them but i wasn't actually going to so um this whole like organization thing is actually coming in handy because i can i organize things by like where how i use them so like blush um concealer like eye products um my face palettes are on the side also this shelf was dirty full of makeup so i had to wipe it down but i just reorganized everything by um like the height of things but also how i use them so like i kept the blushes together kept the eye concealers and eye products i kept mascaras and usually i didn't organize it like that i just put it wherever it fit um i also try to keep like my summary products like when i'm a little bit more bronzy i keep it all in the back because i don't use it as often but overall i reorganized it all and i got rid of some stuff um so now i have more space to not get more but space to like just have all my products there and actually be able to take them out and put them back where they go so i like how they turned out actually um and then the rest of my shelves i think there's like three more are i call them my beauty ones i have like deodorant perfume my contacts my contact solution i just reorganized that one off camera well i had footage but i just didn't like it so here you go this is the final reveal of this one So I saved what was going to take me the longest for last. It literally is all of my clothes. So my dresser and my closet, I'm deep cleaning it, getting rid of clothes that I don't use, which is a lot of clothes because I for I had so many clothes that I would forget like what clothes I had in general. So I'm just reorganizing every single dr like drawer in my dresser and then we are reorganizing everything in my closet so the way i kind of got rid of things was when was the last time i wore it am i trying to i'm trying to like also revamp my wardrobe so i'm like is this like old me or is it going to be the new me like i don't know i just kind of reorganized it based off of and got rid of things based off of like if i'm using them and when was the last time i wore them because so if i wear something that i like a lot then i tend to keep them I'm also having this thing where I loved like blouses and I feel like now I like having basics that I can just layer on top of it. So like a black shirt, have a cute sweater on, like a jacket on or like a vest, um, cute jeans, cute shoes, like jewelry, hair on point. You know, old me would have just thrown on jeans, a cute blouse and shoes and that's it, you know, and it was cool. But now I'm trying to like up my game and kind of have like better wardrobe, I guess. So the one the dress the drawers in my dresser that are the most full are my leggings and my t-shirts 
I got rid of some a lot of like leggings that were just like really bad like bad quality that I've just had so I have a lot of leggings because I every time for Christmas I always ask for new ones to get rid of my old ones but then I never get rid of them so I finally did and then with t-shirts I just keep every single t-shirt that anybody has given me so I got rid of a lot of them that were like from high school a lot of them that were ones that I've just like never worn some of them that had holes some of them that were like literally not in good shape so yes i got rid of a lot a lot of clothes but the damage was mainly done in my closet which you'll see i got rid of so many sweaters because i have a lot of turtlenecks and i don't really like turtleneck sweaters i realize i don't like how they look on me i like turtleneck like shirts like bodysuits are cool um because i feel like you can layer again layering is my new thing you can layer your clothes really well Here's like the beginning stack and here, look, I'm getting rid of all of these clothes. Like, so the one on the left of the screen is the one I'm getting rid of and the right is all the things I'm keeping. Um, eventually the right, the keeping pile, I just put it up, put it back where it's supposed to go. And then it just, this left pile just turns into a big blob. Like it turned into four bags of clothes for donations. So I got rid of a lot of stuff, but the main thing that did the damage was all the sweaters that i was wearing didn't really like them so i just got rid of most of them so honestly i think it's a uh, it's a big accomplishment to say that like i got rid of a bunch of clothes now i have all these hangers and i don't know what to do with them but that is everything that i decluttered again i'm gonna do my book shelf in a different video because that one's gonna be like reorganizing redecorating that's a whole other thing that i have to do so stay tuned for that video really excited about that here's how my closet turned out it looks really good i organized it sweaters my pants and then all my hanging stuff i even cleaned off the bottom shelf like the bottom section like i can actually see the floor now so that's a that's an accomplishment but thank you so much for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed um hopefully it motivated you to clean because i know watching other people clean is like oh maybe i need to clean my room too oh look at that pile i told you it's massive four bags of donation but i'm super happy with how everything turned out thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed i've said that multiple times but make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you never miss another one of my videos and stay tuned for next sunday's video because it's my bookcase slash book shelf video and i hope you guys enjoy it so stay tuned for next sunday's video because i promise you guys it will be an amazing one bye guys